New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Uh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause. Theft. Original owner. No data. Suggested solution? None. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. No! Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. Still got all your functions? Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum. Be what, dum, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 Alpha is running correctly. Alright, so what can you do? Besides talk my ear off. Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Stone Cold Killer. <laughs> My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Ugh. Selected mode. Stone Cold Killer. Happy slaughtering. Are you happy with the autonomous shooting function? Please jump to confirm. Error. Premature discharge. I'm sorry. 
This never happens. Hello, this is N54 News with a breaking development. The story of the teens abducted by Anthony Harris, known also as Peter Pan, has reached a happy ending. Thanks to an anonymous tip, Dum bum bum be dum bum. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum. Spot. Uh, this, this isn't a bar? It is, but it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. V, hey, go back off. These assholes are to hey, behave in my bar. Here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Just try, Gonk. Come on, let's see what you got. Well, this got real fucking interesting. Yeah! <laughs> Heavy day, huh? I know something about that. Ah. Uh. I'm alone, okay? What, what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Because you look like you got some eds on you. I see. Nothing for free. Not in this goddamn city. Not in this goddamn life. Here, all I got. The rest, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, V. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? 
10 years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why you wanna know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one, answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like at this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Mm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done. I'm trying to focus. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. Mr. Stud, all night, every night. 
Don't be soft. Upgrade now. Got too close. The woman Again. looked around. Something, Something just drew me to her. her. Like Maybe one magnet to another. Ugh, stop. The woman passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. There a risk of food poisoning here? That depends. If you keep it up with those kinds of questions, who knows? to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know, I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec, uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing, I, oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt, skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom, because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them, and I can't share them with anyone, not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time, and, 
And now that I'm expecting again, it... No, oh, it, it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son, that's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? You got a right to feel cheated. Sorta. Okay. What now? I wish I knew, Pepe. I really do. But who am I to make your mind up for you? Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, see you. All oh, right, uh, something for you. I guess you. Guess you earned it. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally, making some sense. And she looked after us. We took care of our family, our friends. <laughs> what? And now they don't? Damn, you are turning into a cranky old coot. I know what I know. 
Now all they care about is scratch and supplements. Look at us. Slowly turning into a fucking megacorp. Hey, come on. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Fucking... Javier Alvarado. You come here often? Oh, why? Because I attend the Mexican bar. I'm supposed to know every single Javier in the whole goddamn city, huh? You might know this particular Javier. When you work here as long as I have, you learn that it's better not to remember last names or faces.
Whose bar is this? Why? You wanna complain about the selection? The decoration? Maybe the barkeep? Just curious is all. Don't look like the type to ask about throwing a quinceañera for his daughter. Besides, trust me. There are a lot of reasons you don't wanna meet the boss. Some things never change. Gonks tick the ballot and think they're actually making a choice. Only ever been one choice in this city. Corruption. Same shit, different assholes. And every time they think this time will be different. Well, we get what we fucking deserve.
for me. Maybe the new guy. Because he was acting strange.
City. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News, and this is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access to protective firearms. Schools and hospitals have been closed until further notice. What's next for Pacifica? The district formerly designed as an oasis of luxury has become a den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Kang Tao recently expressed interest in the purchase of Pacifica property with the aim of constructing a new server and logistics center. The city government has openly considered selling the land for a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture, provided that Kang Tao demonstrates commitment to eradicating the district's criminal presence. Today's final story is an unwelcome one for pet owners. The canine ownership tax will increase to 1,000 euro dollars per dog per month. Similarly, the fine for possessing an undocumented animal will increase to 40,000 euro dollars. Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. 
violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, in an abundance of caution, the MCPD has raised the threat level to two, advising travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops.